Last week we talked about testing JavaScript with Jest. We made an extremely simple function and an extremely simple test. That test failed, so we modified our function to make the test pass. If you followed along, congratulations. You've begun your journey into two things, unit tests and test-driven development. When we test a particular function or contained piece of software behavior, that is to say, a unit of our overall program, we're engaged in unit testing. There are other types of testing, for example, snapshot testing, integration testing, and others. We can and probably will cover those in future tutorials, but for now let's just stick with the basics. Testing individual units, usually functions, to make sure they behave consistently. If you haven't done last week's tutorial, now's a good time to jump back and look at it, because this one builds directly off of the code we've already put together. As a quick reminder though, here's our function, and here's our test. You should have a simple function in index.js, and then some data and a simple test in index.test.js. We're going to start by writing some new tests in index.test.js. Like the first one, originally, these are going to fail and fail hard. Ready? Here they are. Save this. If you run these tests, they're going to fail, because we're currently always returning the full users array, which has a length of 4. Let's go ahead and try. Yep, that is one pass, the original test that we made work, and three fails, which are failing for the reasons that we stated. We're not effectively filtering our users, even when we're sending a filter value as the second parameter, because our function isn't using it. Let's fix that. Head over to index.js and adjust our function there to look like this. Save that, rerun the tests, and we're still failing. Ah, because way back originally I typed filters up here instead of filter. One more time, see how unit testing is useful for identifying flaws in your code? There we go, four passing tests. This is because we're actually now filtering our array using array.filter, which we covered way back in JS Quick Hits 2. It's important to note that this is working even on values that are empty strings, correctly interpreting that even though the value is not null or undefined, it still needs filtering. This is because an empty string is considered falsy in JavaScript, meaning that if you're doing an evaluation like if or switch, JavaScript will consider it false. So for example, when using email as a filter, let's take a look at our data, it's noting that Sarah Ungleford has a null email address and Teresa Thompson has an empty string as an email address and is correctly removing both from the array, leaving us with a returned value that has a length of two as our test expects. This is test-driven development in a nutshell. You build ever more complex sets of tests, which will start as failing, and then you modify your functionality until they pass. We can make this process even more robust by creating more user data, possibly randomized or even better direct from your actual DB full of users, and making our tests more specific. The benefit here is that you can be sure as you build out your application that each of the core pieces of functionality are behaving in an expected manner. You'll feel more confident throwing 10,000 users at filter users in production, especially if that function's gotten bigger and more complex, if you've already done so in a testing environment and seen that the tests all pass. I'm not expecting you to convert to TDD today. Honestly, most of the clients I work with still aren't using it. Even the ones who write unit tests frequently write them after the code to confirm it works, rather than writing the tests first. That's still better than not testing at all. Like, a lot better. But true test-driven development and the rigorous approach it requires can really help bulletproof your code. By testing early, testing often, and testing first, you can proceed with confidence even as your application scales. See you next week.